guys and welcome back to the channel here we are doing a paddle test review of the feel free aventura 125 v2 so here we are getting the aventura 125 v2 off the top of the van it weighs in at 24.95 kilograms got an overall capacity of 159 kilograms now I'm only 170 centimeters if I stand on my tiptoes, uh, so I can get this off top of the van relatively easily. Slide it out the J carriers onto my shoulder, and then uh, away we go. Oh, make a decision where do you want to go, where we're going to put it. We'll put it over there on some nice soft grass. shoulder to move it around is nice and easy it's nicely weighted in the middle makes life really easy getting to and from the water so as we take a look around the aventura here we've got a round click lock hatch with a bulkhead on the front deck bungees a large cockpit easy adjust footrests thigh braces a large comfortable seat base pad adjustable back band oval rear storage with a bulkhead as well drop down skeg mechanism just behind my bilge pump and then some nice front and rear carry handles which are bungee loaded to stop them flapping about alright here we go popping it in the water it's a little bit of a drop but actually pretty easy to get in there So I'm using a size 5 spray deck on here or a big deck. As you can see it's a bit of a stretch to get it on there. It fits but it's a bit of a stretch. So it'd be worth using a size 6 for an easier fit. So here we go on the water. As you can see some lovely lines on the kayak. It cuts through the water with absolute ease. This is with a skeg up, no problems at all with the boat tracking nicely in a straight line. A bit of backwards paddling, it's actually very easy. I'm just going to run some stability tests here, so just doing some things that recreational paddlers would do, just testing the edges here showing that you can lean the boat over a little bit of a high brace to bring it back up if needed you can just sit there on an edge until you find the tipping point here we are getting a little bit more adventurous and apologies for those water spots on the camera here degree turn here with the skeg up as you can see it goes round nice and smoothly it doesn't really take any effort at all it wants to glide round now we can deploy the skeg and try the same thing again it's a little bit harder here the skeg on this boat is actually really really good it's really effective at keeping you in a straight line obviously you wouldn't do a 360 degree turn with the skeg down but it's just showing how good this skeg is
demonstrating here that we can pull the butt into a landing point if we need to, doing a bit of sculling, and then we'll get back on the water and go a little bit further. nice bit of onboard footage here you can see that the nose keeps pretty straight this is with the skeg up I didn't really feel the need to have the skeg down at any point during this obviously it's quite calm but I think the boat behaves superbly well with the skeg up so you wouldn't really need to deploy it too often I don't think this is the feature that impressed me the most about this boat so what we've got here is coming around the corner and just doing a mild edge, negative edge, just to get us around the bend. And to be honest with you, the smallest of edges, just looking where I want to go, and the boat pretty much does it itself. You can see here, very mild edge, around we go. That, however, is not the case when you put the skeg down. So we tried doing a mild edge to start with, and we're going nowhere. So then we progressively get a little bit further with the edge, and a little bit further, and then I give up because it's not going around that corner. Really good skeg system for tracking in a straight line, if needs be. So a paddle test wouldn't be complete without me getting in the water. On the account that I was breaking ice uh, around certain parts of this paddle, I thought I'm not rolling in there, I don't want to get too wet, so I jump out the boat, keep the boat the right way up, and then we're just going to try and get back on the back deck and get back in the boat with ease. And getting back on the back deck of this boat is so stable that you can jump back on the back deck. I literally swam on the back deck there because this was a deep water. I thought this looks a little bit too easy, so I jump back in. Make sure that it's definitely that easy. Try it again. Straight up. So my overall thoughts of the Aventura 125V2 on the water. It tracks well in a straight line with the skeg up or with the skeg down. Edging around bends is easy, it's super efficient. Getting in and out of the kayak is simple with the large cockpit and it's great stability. A really comfortable seat base pad, adjustable back band, there's not much not to like. Deep water recovery, that was one of the easiest ones that I've ever done. As a 12 and a half foot short touring kayak, it really is brilliant and it's gonna take some beating. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.